Hello everyone. So today I will present you my PhD project. Um, I work with at, under the supervision of ADIB of the University of Montpellier and Hugo Asselin and Yves Bergeron from the UK. The subject of my PhD is about the dynamic of white pine and white pine in the northern temperate forest in Quebec during the Holocene. So why we look at the red pine and white pine is because it's an, uh, there are an important <coughs> from economic and ecological aspect, <coughs> but they are important too for the autochthonous people because there are a uh, strong cultural and spiritual aspect for them. Since the 19th century, the red pi white pine and white pine are determined because of several factors like over over exploitations, fire regime change, climate change, and pathogens. Uh, why we want to look at the fire too, it's because white pine and white pine are, are dependent on the fire for their regeneration. And in the temperate regions, there are less study about the fire regimes. So we work on two sites, the Parc National of De la Maurice, le Parc National de la Mauricie, the Red Circle, and the, the Parc National de Pélican, the Blue Circle. They are both, both in the sugar maple yellow birch uh, domain, bio, uh, bioclimatic domain, sorry, and more importantly, they are at the northern continuous limits of the area of repartition for the two species. So I will work, uh, I will divide my work in three uh, chapter. The first one is we want to develop uh, a method to characterize sorry, surface and ground fire because actually no protocol, so currently no protocol are developed and it's because surface fire produce a few charcoal and they are destroyed by successive fire and taxonomy process. To the second, to to the second chapter, we will look at the fire regimes during the Holocene, and we want to reconstruct the fire regime for crumb and surface fire, if, if it's possible, because actually, like I said previously, we have few studies about fire regimes in the temperate zone. To do this chapter, we will look at two proxies, charcoal and XRF. For the third chapter, we will look at the interaction between climate, fire, and vegetation. Uh, to do that, we will, uh, we will use uh, two proxies, the pollen to reconstruct the vegetation dynamics and the geonomy for the climate. And we want to work on the, this interaction because, because actually there are no reconstructions of the two species together in the at the regional scale in the temperate uh, region of Quebec. Uh, thank you for your attention.